Hey guys, what's up? This is Nick here from Job Films, and today I'm here to show you how to make a cool grid wipe. So let's check it out. So simple and pretty cool, you know. I made this in just 10 minutes, you know. It's very simple. So I hope you like my first tutorial. So let's jump onto this and I'll show you how to make it. So first of all I'll click on this, create a new composition. I'll keep it right this. Okay, you can keep it whatever you want. So first of all we're gonna make a background. In this you can see I made a cool blue background. In this I use the logo of Technodotute because I am working for them, you know. So I made it. You can use a text or something. So in this tutorial I'm gonna show you with a text. So let's go and come. Let's create a new solid. Mm, you can keep it whatever color because we are gonna add an effect called ramp. R A M P ramp. So select it. Now this effect ramp effect gives a two shade color you can see right there. So we can change the right go here and change it to like about like blue. Then we'll change the second color to about like the darker one, like dark or something like this, and I'll change this linear ramp to radical ramp. You can see you now we get this cool effect. I'll change this more right. Let's make this more right, right there. Okay, so it looks cool. Let's make it more lighter, like right there. Yep, looks cool. So now, after it, let's name it BG. So it's background layer. So after that, we're gonna create this. You can see right there this grid. You know, like, yeah, it's cool, you know. So, before creating the grid, let's create a text. So, just name it, let's name it, uh, let's name it Dope. So, it's my film, Dope Films, so I'll name it Dope Films. It's a production, you know. So, let's just send it pretty quick. Let's increase the size to maybe about 120. It's cool. Just send it pretty quick. Yeah, it's cool. So now we are gonna do the hectic thing that's keyframing. So let's keyframe it. Yeah, so today I'm gonna show you a new method of keyframing. Uh, like there are two methods. One is the hectic one, like you can do you can do for the zoom effect you see here, which I created the zoom effect. You can do one the one first and the hectic ways uh Click S and bring up the scale properties, and we can set a keyframe to write scale it up, you know, like like this till it goes from out of the view. But it, it's like a hectic, like it's a difficult to do, you know. So I'll just control Z Z to undo it. Z Z. Okay, let's do it. So the simple way is create a new camera. Make it 35 mm, whatever you want. Okay, it matters. And this make this take toggle switches and just hit click on this box. This make this text a 3D text. You know, you can see like now this text is 3D. You know, you can make whatever you want. So now, what we can do is select the camera, go to camera, hold left click. And you can see this option undefined camera, orbit camera, XYZ camera, and Z camera too. So I'll click on the Z camera tool, select it. Now you can see pretty easily I can use the keyframe, right? This. Yep, easy, you know. It's pretty easy. It's a draw like an angel, you know. <laughs> so I'll just hit on this camera, click P for position properties, go like about one second right there. Hit on the stopwatch, go right there, back a few, and just zoom it in like this. So now animation like this is right there. It's cool. So now we're gonna add the grid effect. So create a new solid. Let's make this white. You can make it whatever color you want. I'll make it white. Let's name it grid. You know, naming is very 
good habit to do because then you can identify your layers you know properly so I'll type in grid it's an inbuilt effect in After Effects so I'll select this generate grid oh sorry the wrong effect CC grid bike so now what's cool about the effect is if I just change this completion you can see I already start to get the effect now what you can do is you can play around with this effect like we can increase the border or something like this this you can change the title like this or this you can, you can do many cool stuff you can make it like this so that if we move the completion you can be like this you know it looks really cool so I'll just reset it so what we can do is there's just keyframe this grid thing so now we have to see that put behind Adobe Film, but before our BG. So now we have to see where Adobe Films enter the screen. So you're right there. I want right there the grid thing to happen right there. So I'll click on this grid thing and click on the stop patch. We'll go a few frames forward right there and bring it out. So now what we have is school grid effect. So now you can see the keyframes are very harsh right now, like they're rough. So I'll just go right there, hit U shortcut to see the keyframes. And what I'm gonna do is select, sorry, select this keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease the keyframe. So now it's a little better, you know, like this. Now I think the grid effect is too fast, you know. So to make it slow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread it a little spread it a little bit right there. So it will be like this. You know like it's cool. So now if I render this, let's see. Yeah, looks cool, but it's too fast still, I guess. So I'll just increase this thing and you can play with this keyframe or increase it. Now it will be a little slower, you know. This. Yeah, looks cool. Now what you're gonna do is now you can see this as the text come in, it's come too fast. So when the objects move fast, it needs it has a motion blur in it. So let's create a motion blur. It's too simple. Just select this door frame, hit on this box you see here, and hit on this motion blur thing. Now you can see right there. We got a motion blur for our text. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, right? So now what you're gonna do is we can also play with the text to make it look real cool. So let's add an effect called bevel. It's an inbuilt effect. Select the bevel alpha for the text. Select double click or you can click and drag. Yeah. So now it's a little hard hard to see because the bevel effect. So let's increase the edge thickness. Yep. You see, it looks so cool. Increase light intensity. Now you can see it looks a little bit more realistic. Like if I undo the effect, you can see it's just a dope film and it gives a cool look, you know. So yeah, we're done with the dope film. You know what? Uh, it looks so cool. Then the same thing you have to do to make this thing like when the logos go out and you can see we write there this. So let's animate that thing. Let's keyframe this thing like so I want. So the thing we have to do is let's go on two seconds. Hit P for the position, let's keyframe it, let's hit this thing so that it keyframes. So it tells the After Effects that between this thing, the time remains the same. Sorry, the position remains the same. So I'll hit this thing, go up, keyframe like about there, and just select two and zoom it in again. Yep. So we're done with it, you can see, right? Then, like this, you see, then what we can do is we can say this key frame, we can look forward whenever we want, you can adjust as per your time, you know, pretty simple. So now what we're gonna do is, we are again gonna do the same in the grid effect. So 
now I like to use a shortcut way so I'll hit U I'll see where the keyframe are right there I'll just cut it off and just do control D to duplicate it and what I'm gonna do is time and time reverse layer so what we have is if you go right there right about there you can see the effect is reversed you know so I want my effect to start right there so now what we have is like this you know, like I want it to start more early you know. so now what we have is like this you no know, like it's so cool it's a very basic effect you know so now the only thing remains is how I created this cool line but I don't think I have to make show you guys in this tutorial how to create these lines because it will take a little more time so you can add other elements you know I, I use these lines in this cool pop-up circles so if you think you need a tutorial on this lines and pop-up circles just comment on this video thanks for watching let's last time render it and see how it looks it's rendering yeah it looks pretty cool you know like for simple basic logo and intro you know looks so cool you can do many stuff with it like for example I'll show you create a new adjustment layer we can add a good effect go to optical flares now let me tell you this that this is the third party plugin so you have to download it so click on this make it original now we have an optical flare we can go to options this is a very useful plugin you know we can go to presets which I already made you can see select any of these motion graphics I'll select um should I which one should I select now yeah, which one let's select let's just select this I'll hit it ok so now we can see we have this cool thing right here so I'll just hit a there you know and what I'm gonna do is click on this flicker thing you're gonna smooth it speed I'll increase the speed and amount a little bit and random seeds a little bit so now we have this flicker effect on oh, it's gonna flicker I guess oh no it's not cause let me just check out what I've done we are randomized mother it's on smooth yeah smooth time flicker yep looks cool let's render this now you can see this optical flares make a text look so cool you know so much better it looks so much professional you know uh, so it was a simple you know tutorial if you guys want more tutorials just inbox me or just comment below this video and my third tutorial is gonna be on shape layers i hope you guys like this tutorial and thanks for watching yeah.